we'll see what results you get. Yeah. This will be. Mobile, you get good results. Okay. November, but uh, now. Um, Musharif wanted to do some Kirchhoff questions. Yes, I am on Kirchhoff. Okay, then that's good. We'll do Kirchhoff. Um, let me see. There are three rules for Kirchhoff or two? Two. Yeah, done two, yeah. Uh, pass. So let me see, let me see, let me see. Physics. Let's see what I got. The, the lab report, yeah. Oh, he was just asking me about that. I'll do it next week. I'm so busy. So busy. Yeah, yes. I should forgive him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right, let's see. Finding the Kirchhoff question for us to do. Kirchhoff I like. I like Kirchhoff. I want you to like Kirchhoff too. Uh, here is Kirchhoff. Yeah? Right. Come here. Yeah. What's the sandwich today? Really? I don't think you have it. Thank you. Well, It's a salad with peanuts. With peanuts? Yeah. Peanuts? Yeah. It's very delicious. Mm, it's good. No meat? No meat. Vegetarian? Yeah. It's good because it looks like meat. Mm. But they put onion in the... Peanuts. In the oven, yeah. Mm. It's like... Most of them are Good. I'll take that down in a minute. We should open it to the restaurant. There's none in Dublin? Mm -hmm. no. You can. I just try. I just want to know that. You're not ready for a sandwich. Yeah. It's too early for you. Yeah. Just a bit of coffee then. Goodness sake, Mayor. Well, I'm glad you made it to my class then since it's so early. Okay, correct job. So, um, first thing to identify is how many unknowns there are. So, how many unknowns one there are? So, three. Yeah. So, how many equations? Three. three. Junction rule only once. Here's the junction. So, what current is going in? Uh, I in, in. Uh, I'm fish. 2.10? 2.10, correct. So, your first equation is 2.10 is going in, and then I1 and I2 are coming out. So, the junction rule says it's 2.1 minus I1 minus I2 equals 0. Mm -hmm. oh. So, one that is coming out will be minus. Yeah. That's equation one. Now, we can get I2 first, and then we can get the loop start. You make the loop yeah. on the outside, yeah. starting at the 10. And you can get I1 in. Minus 2.1 times 8. Plus or minus 16? Uh, Plus, minus, So your answer is? Plus. Correct? No. Mm -hmm. Because? 10 is minus plus. 10 is plus, yeah. and this is minus. So it's correct order for the batteries. So the voltage is at? Minus 6. Well, it's minus but then here, decreases by 6i2. Minus 
Ya. Equals? Yeah. That's equation two. Equation three. You can get I1 from the equation one. Yeah, this gives us I2 and this gives us I1. So we'll just make a. I'm from the we can do it. We can do either this loop or an inner loop. No, easier to do this. This one? No, other. Inner. To get I2. No, no, to get E. To get E. To get E. From the small loop. Yeah, the small loop. E, yeah. Or this one. No. 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 Oh, okay. I like it. But I think the small loop you have to multiply small things. Nah. But only four. We'll do this one because it's going to be the same except for here is plus e one minus um. 4 i1 and then minus the 2 times 2.1 equals 0. So three equations. So equation 2 gives me what? I2. I2. So that means equation 1 can give me gives well, I, I one. I1 and then finally then equation 3 gives e1. e1. So let's try that. Let's get the I2 first. I have my calculator here. Um, so it's going to be fraction. What's happened? Ah. It's gone. Did you write it down? Your computer is about to die. But it's not dead yet. I can uh, I can still you use know, it. Yeah. 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 Nobody <laughs> nobody asks where Mir is anymore. My page disappeared. But this is this is, this is not the one. Yeah, you want a hard one, not like this. Mm -hmm. So let's find a hard one then. Yeah. You want lots of things. I want when you have to. Solve I know what you mean. Yes. Yeah. 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 That it's not just one gives one, one gives one, one gives one. Yeah. Let's see version two here. We'll just keep going backwards in time until we find a hard one to do. We get, we get this question every Usually the E1 are not half. Huh? Usually the E1 are not half. half. Um, yeah, so yeah. One it's with the I. Yeah, true. Now let's see Ms. Sharif, this is the next year's one. Um, I mean the next version. Um, yeah. ah. No, not in that one. So you were asking me if it's in every one. No, I'd say it's in half of them. Come on. Oh, it's back. Anyways, this one is too easy. Uh, version 3. Uh, Can you go down? To the circuit? Yeah. yeah. We got a capacitor and we got this. Mm -hmm. You want to do this one? No, this one is just uh, What is this? Uh, <coughs> is it done? The potential divider lesson.
Will we do this one? Can we go there? Come back to this one? Okay. So I'll just minimize it then. Now I think I can open two PDFs, don't worry. Uh, right. Uh, six, five, four, uh, too easy. I think we have to go to a different year maybe. Let's go to 2013. Why do you have many versions for each year? The University of Manchester makes many versions for different schools. So, um, we don't do the Probably be a different one, yeah. Yeah, because they are having they have yesterday. The time. They have yesterday. The time. They are having today. You mean the time? Like it can be, you know. Too easy? Uh, yeah. Well. Forget about it. No, no, no. I need to go further back because they get harder. <laughs> um, because the first person to write the physics exam made the questions much harder. Um, no. I one, I two, I three. This is what we want, isn't it? Okay. So let's do this one together. Um, we'll use the junction rule first. So what's going in here? Can you see? Okay. I one and I two. I one and I two. So it's I3 minus I1 and I1. No, it's I1 plus I2 it's minus I3 equals 0. If you rearrange it, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it okay? <laughs> now, we have three loops we can make, but we only need to make two loops. Um, I like the idea of making two small loops, but you could make one big loop on the outside. But what I like about making the small loop is there's only one cell in it. So let's start with the 50. 50 minus 10i1 <coughs> minus 5i1 minus 4i3 equals zero. Which we can write as 50 minus 15i1 minus 4i3 equals zero. Uh, and then here 4 minus 3i2 minus 2i2 minus 4i3 equals zero. So you get four minus five I two minus four. Four two. Can you go to that question? Yeah yeah. Mean when you if the you know the error in the I three yeah if it's slick you make the four ohm a uh, ohm plus not minus. Yeah. 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 Um right. So, usually this is my strategy, okay? If you have three equations, like here, there's an I1, an I2, an I3, and here an I1, an I2, an I3, and here an I1, an I2, an I3, you try to cancel I3 from the first two and from the second two, or I2s, or I1s. So, like, for example, here, if this was a 2 and this was a 3, then you multiply this by 3 and this by 2 and minus and let's say this is a 4 then you multiply this by 4, this by 3 and then minus so you get two equations with I1 and I2 now sometimes you have situations like this I1, I2, I3 I1, I2 I1, I2, I3 we can't cancel I3 because it's only in two of them so here, if you minus, do you cancel I3? No, because there's nothing to cancel it. So you need to pick something that's in all three of them. Um, like, like I2 or I1. But then what about this, where you have 
I1, I3, um, I2, I3, I1, I2. So this is kind of like, uh, the pr not an in common, so this is kind of the hardest one to think about because then how can you, I mean what can you do? You can also do by the, the substitution method. Analogy. You could maybe go with a substitution method, yeah. Uh, which I think you probably would have to do. So like here, you could replace I1 with I3. So you could change I1s into I3s or I3s into I1s. So this one could become I1 and I2 because the I3 you can write as I1s. Yeah. And this one here is still I1 and I2 and now you're good. Yeah. So you're, you have two approaches. Either eliminate a common or substitute. Let's see which one we have here. Question one, is there something that's in all three of them? Then we know what to do. We have to eliminate I3. It's not in A substitution. So like here, I1, I3, I2, I3, I1, I2. There's nothing in common. But if you look at the first equation, you can replace I1s with I3s. So you could put that into this guy to change the I3 into an I1. You can also do this question with the elimination rule. Yeah, but elimination is nicest. When elimination is best when we can use it. If I multiply this by 4, I get 4i1 plus 4i2 minus 4i3 equals 0. Here I have... Uh, yeah, you know what I'll do actually? Uh, minus 15i1 minus 4i3 equals minus 50 yeah. and then the last one will be minus 5i2 minus 4i3 equals minus 4 and I multiply the first one by 4 so what do you know it's about the i3 is? Yeah. they're all the same yeah. mm -hmm. so if I minus these I make an equation and if I minus these I make an equation so 4i1 minus minus 15i1 19i1. 4i2 minus no i2s. 4i3 minus 4i3. Gone. Equals 50. Minus 15i1 minus no i1s. No i2s minus minus 5i2. 4i3 minus 4i3, they cancel. Minus 50 minus minus 4 is minus 46. Now it's easy. Now it's easy. Now it's easy. Now it's just a normal math problem. Um, for this one? A substitution one? I don't know because I can't tell from looking at the circuit what type it's going to be. You know? I could make an example up. I can pretend we found Kirchhoff's three equations and then do it that way. So it could be something like this. 2i1 plus uh, I. minus 5i3 equals 0. That could be like a junction rule or something. And then you could have 3i1 plus 2i2 equals 10. And then we could have um, 4i2 minus I3 equals 2. So, in this method, once it's low, it's <coughs> there's no I, there's no variable that's in common to all three. So we have to use a different method here. Yeah? We'll just wait for it to load. So how Starbucks at 3 a.m.? The best. The best? Yeah. It's good. It's better than the library. Better than what? Better than the library. Yeah. It's always really late. It's only 4 times. You can what? It's only 4 times. The Starbucks? Yeah, it is. Stephen's Green. Yeah. yeah. Any homeless people in there at 3 a.m.? No. No? All I've heard all Arabs. All Arabs in that in Arabs. Uh, Arabs like their late night shopping. 
something you can't really do in Ireland. Sudanese people as well like their late night shopping. You know, like shopping at midnight or 1 a.m. Not shopping at no. Hanging out. Yeah. Hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the shopping centre or whatever. Starbucks. Or whatever. Yeah, like, uh, every time you go to the distillery now, like 70% of the customers are Arab. 70%. More than it, like even they are Arabic. It's an Arabic Starbucks. Yeah, Arab books. Arab books. <laughs> well, that's good for Starbucks. Arabs like spending lots of money on Starbucks. Yeah. I always see my Arab yeah, students in Starbucks that. getting cappuccino, frappuccino. That's why. It's my goodness, good. that coffee's like four euros. Like you think about it, like four euros a day. This is free coffee. Free coffee? <laughs> <laughs> you show them your staff card. <laughs> no. Skin. Nice. <laughs> this isn't loading. Do I need to rewrite it? <laughs> oh. Right, okay, so. We have nothing in common to eliminate. So what I'll do, uh, a substitution. If you look at this one, you could say 2i1 equals 5i3. So i3 equals 2 fifths i1. And then I can put that into this one. So I get 3i1 plus 2i2 equals 10. And then minus 2 fifths i1, that's this one. Plus 4i2. And maybe multiply that by 5. So you get 3i1 plus 2i2 equals 10 minus 2i1 plus 20i2 equals 10. Mm, no, it's all okay. What do you think? Doesn't seem so bad now, does it? You know, like, I'll, for me, the way you do, it's like I always make mistakes with it. Practice. But it's recording. But this, like if, if I take it out, like now if I take I1 and then put in the other equation, I can find I2. I get zero. You know, it takes time. Life is difficult. Too much difficulty, huh? Uh, we have two days of and like that for the Good. Like one day English for EAD, fine. You don't have to study for EAD. So. Um, Kirchhoff is now okay or not? Musharif, yeah. you were asking about Kirchhoff. Do you want to go to that other question you mentioned earlier? The potential divider? Mm hmm. No, it couldn't be a break already, is it? Maybe we'll do a short section A question and then we can look at that then. Uh, so tell me, what is the things you want to see? A short section A question. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have a look at the section A's in this paper since I have it open. Oh no, not this paper because I just made this one up. Uh, yeah. This one we were just did. The no, no, calm down. No, 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 no. You get nine marks for finding I123. And then the last one is saying which way the electrons are flowing. So, for example, if your I is positive, then it means the uh, direction is correct and the electrons are flowing which way? No, he's saying the voltage in the voltage. Huh? This one? Mm. Which way will the electrons? Me. Yeah. Yeah, here. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. There's the four, yes? Now, the current, is it going the right way or the wrong way? Well, if we get a positive answer, then this is right. If the I2 is negative, then it means 
is the wrong way. Let's pretend the I2 we got was a positive. No, 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 because then they wouldn't have asked it. Let's pretend the I2 is negative. So what's wrong? The arrow is pointing the wrong way. So the current is going down. If the current is going down, the electrons are going up. Yeah. Oh yes, because the electrons flow opposite the current. Yeah. So you don't worry, Mr. If you get ten marks for solving this, ten marks is a lot. Uh, definitely. Will we have a look at section A, sir? Current minus means the arrow is flipped. Arrow is flipped, then means it's going the wrong way the in the picture. Yeah. Well, not that it's going the wrong way, just you drew the arrow the wrong way. Right, uh, number one is, oh, we've seen this one before, the scalar and the vector with the boat. Yeah? yeah? yeah. We did this one. We did this yeah. one. Uh, no, we did this exam. I mean, like yeah, yeah, it looks very familiar. So let's have a look at that other exam I have open. Uh, the one with the potential divider in it. Maybe that's a harder exam. Oh, yes. I like this one. It has a hard mechanics question in it. This, um... I think it's this exam. Oh, no, maybe it's not. Maybe it was the other one I had open. Oh, rats. What is the maximum here that one Huh? The maximum, well, the highest physics grade ever was one student got 98. How was Out of 100? Out of 100. No, how was it? Very good. No, I mean in class 100. Very good. Very good. Very good. Got 98. You he made a small mistake in the electricity. There were two cells. Each cell was three volts. So he said the voltage was three volts, but he didn't realize on the diagram there were two cells in the picture, so the voltage should have been six volts. Oh. So he got 98. Uh, I found 100 in maths, but not maths for engineering. Yeah. Not I'm yet. Um, maths for business. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe like 95 or something like this. 90, 95. Uh, uh, 100 has only been in maths for business, not maths for science or maths for engineering. Uh, so, if you want to be the first student to get 100 in physics and maths for engineering, please do this for me. It will make me happy. <laughs> I'll get a special car to pick you up and take you there and everything. <laughs> Um, I am going to do question four because this is, I think, number four. Yeah, no, no, I am. Uh, it's important to see it. This is the hardest mechanics question. UV ATF. Okay, mechanics is very big, so I should be a bit clearer. This is the hardest UV ATF problem I've seen. Yeah. So we'll have a look at this one, and we'll do it together. So it looks okay from the picture. Um, you have this mass of 3.75, and it slides down. It slides down this hill, and uh, the distance is 30, the angle is 25, and the speed is 4.5. So let's just draw that to begin with. So here's the hill. This is. 30 meters. This angle here is 25. This mass is 3.75. And the speed here is 4.5. Yeah. And the question is now that's actually uh, a mistake. He meant to say what is the speed of the object? when it hits the bottom. So, any ideas on how we can get the speed here? 
There's two ways to do it. What way do you think we could do this? We could use the angles. We could um, we could certainly um, come on. We could certainly um, resolve, you know, uh, into uh, components. But this is not this is not the best way to do it. There's an easy way to do it to get the speed here. Anyone know? Mr. Eve? Mir? Yes? What's that? No. Oh, well, that is the. Yeah, you can, like, um, get the horizontal and vertical. Yeah. But no. The. 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 And the energy here is the same as the energy here. What is the height here? If this is 30, this is 30 cos 25, and this is 30 sine 25. What type of energy does it have here? Kinetic? Plus potential? MGH. Yeah. And what type of energy does it have at the bottom? Yeah. Only kinetic. And the V, of course, will be bigger than 4.5. And this is how you can get the V. Now, you oh. didn't think of that. But at the top, I can think of Yes, I know. Yeah, this is why I'm doing this question. At the top, the kinetic energy is making more. No. Minimum. It's going fastest at the bottom. Yeah. So it's potential energy and then a down is kinetic. Yeah. So why did you use both of them in this side? Because at the beginning it's it's moving at the beginning, it's not at rest. Oh. Um so if I divide by this and put this on the top. The half I uh, know I'm just putting everything on the calculator. <laughs> I'm being lazy. Square root. What's five by two? Sixteen point four. Oh, I did include this. Yeah. That's it. Two. Now I see. What is the momentum? Oh, well, that's so easy. What's the formula for MV? So it'll just be um, 16.4 times uh, 3.75. And I still have this on my calculator. 61.5 and the units? Kilograms per second. Uh, kilograms per meters per second. Right, three. The time taken to reach the bottom. Yeah. No, use not zero. Use 4.5. Use 4.5. B is 16.5. No, because it's accelerating. Minus nine no, because it's not falling down. This is 9.81. This is sliding. This is less than 9.81. Yeah. yeah. So, well, we don't, need, we don't need the A, because we have enough. Because yeah. we have U, V, and S. So we can get the T without the A. Mm -hmm. We can work out the A from the picture, but we don't need it. So we'll go with v squared equals u squared, oh no, sorry, um, f equals u plus v over 2t, that formula. Why? Because we know u, v and f and we want t. Yeah, I mean the special condition. No, it's not. 
Yeah. We just don't usually need to use it. So S is U, T is U, T is S over U plus V over 2. 2 over Yeah, which is 2S over U plus V, which is 60 over U plus V. And that time is 2.87. Part 4. No, no part 4. Now, the juicy one. That was just the appetizer to get you started. Mm -hmm. This is the main course now. Uh, this one. An object is thrown horizontally from the top of the same slope. So, you have this here. You have the object here and it's thrown, so it goes like this. It's thrown down. Uh, here, the speed is 12.25 meters per second. The distance here is h, and you don't know what it is. And the angle here is still 25. Uh, calculate the time and the distance. So you want the T and the H here. Yeah. Now, um, we don't know this distance here because we don't know H. So we'll call this H cos 25. H sin 25. Is okay so far? Yeah. Now, this is a UVATS projectiles problem, where it starts here and here. So, let's have a look at the X and then the Y. Uh, now, you know that the X doesn't have an acceleration. So, you don't really care about, you only care about the U, the T and the X, because it's constant acceleration. It's distance, speed, time. You know? No? A okay. Is. A zero. Yeah. A zero. And here A is Nine. minus 9.81. Yeah. Okay. Now, here, what's the U? Uh, Horizontally. Oh. The V we don't know, the T we don't know, and the S, what's the S? S minus, no, uh, not minus, H cos 25. Because that's how far it travels horizontally. Don't worry, we're okay. That's okay? Is that okay? Now, the Y, what's the U? Yeah. The V? Minus H we don't know. Oh, yeah. The T? We don't know. The S? Because it drops that much. Uh, here, we can say S equals U T plus a half a t squared. And here we can say f equals u t plus a half a t squared. Now there are two. So, what do we do? Well, let's clean this up a little bit. This is h sine 25 equals 4.905 t squared. And this one is h cos 25 equals 12.25 t. And we want h, h and t. 15, so we can make h but it can do something even better. Can no, better than that. Uh, so much better than that. Yeah, it's no, it's not. I have a better way. 
Like we would compare that. Divide. Divide by sine. Divide this by this. H divided by H? One. one. Sine divided by cos? One. No, no. Ten. 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 T squared divided by T? T. But you can use the left side. Yes, you can, but I like this way. No, I mean, it's actually divide by both sides. You can what? Divide yeah. One. You're allowed to divide. You can add, subtract, multiply, or divide equations. Okay. So we have the T. I need to admit it. Mm-hmm. Straight in. Get the H. Yeah. But nobody got this last year when I gave it in class because it's so different. So once we get the T, then we can get the H because. H equals 12.25 T over cos 25. So we have T and we have H. So that's uh, 7 marks. Yeah. Now the last one here, we might as well finish it. Uh, the 2.5 is placed on a horizontal surface and a force of 150 acts on it for 0.2 seconds. So here you have a mass of 2.45 kilograms uh, and there's a force act uh, this way of 150 newtons and the time for the force is 0 0.2 seconds so you push it for this long uh, what is the impulse so do you remember the form for impulse that's one formula for it correct and it can also be written as delta p but if you remember F equals delta P over delta T. So another way for writing impulse is F multiplied delta T. Yeah. So impulse is just 0 0.2 times 150, which is 30 Newton seconds. Uh, and then yeah, the, I know. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. And lastly, what's the velocity? So yeah, 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 because um, you have U, V, A, T, S as well. U is zero. V is what we want. A we don't know. T we do know. It's zero point two. S we don't know. But Newton said F equals m a, so a equals F over m. Uh, but F is delta P over delta T over m. And we have the impulse. The impulse is thirty. And we have the time. It's zero point two. And we have the m. It's Oh, sorry, 2.45. Uh, F equals MA, true? No, it's the velocity. Which yeah. velocity? <laughs> the V. <laughs> yeah, I mean the V. It's the same problem. Uh, for the one For this one, yeah. It starts at rest. Mm -hmm. And we want to know the V after this time, when you push it. It's going horizontally. Horizontally, yeah. On the table, just. So the A no, because you're pushing it with a force. Force means A. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I forgot I had it. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, so I could have just said 150 over 2.45. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so 150 over 2.45 is 61.2. Yeah, but there's a very small time. So uh, if you said... It's bigger than the capital. Yeah, but it's a small time, a small time. So, what can give us the B? B equals U plus AT. The U is zero, so it's just A multiplied by T. So, this multiplied by T. And the answer is 12.2 meters per second. Yeah.
That was the hardest question I've ever seen for UBATS. Just the beginning, you know. Just if you know how to start, then like it's so easy to go on. after the break. After the break, we'll do this one, yeah. Okay.